Okay, this is a quick tutorial on using Node.js with Cloud Vision. Um, something I've just got working. Um, if you see any issues with this, let me know. Um, but I'm just starting to play with Node.js, and hopefully there'll be a few more tutorials here. And um, yeah, I think it's fun. So let's get an image of something. Right, I'm going to look at uh, border terrier dogs because I've got one of these things. Let's get a picture of one. That will do. And then let's download this onto my desktop. Border terrier. Uh, let's go and visit that actually. Make sure I've got the dog. Where did that image come from? There it is. Um, save image as, there we go. Desktop, uh, dog. Okay. Don't need that anymore, don't need that anymore. Right, I'm doing that because um, I want to test this thing out. So if we go into here and drop it on there. This is Google's cloud computing AI machine thing and uh, it is looking at this image and trying to understand it. So knows it's a dog. It's got various labels. Um, these are the labels with a sort of percentage probability or confidence. Um, and it's got a load of other stuff in here, um, which is amazing. It's lovely. So and it sort of shows you how uh, this might be arranged into a JSON file. And um, Let's see how we can use this. So if you want to use this, you need to sign in, click on try it for free, fill in some stuff, including credit card details. Um, but it's, there's lots of free um, usage for this, so at least to get you started. Now, to start to use it, there are various ways of doing this, but I want to play around with Node.js. So Google on GitHub, um, I've got uh, lots of stuff here. So if you go to the Node.js-vision um, Git area for them, there's a great little quick start guide. And um, I'm just going to go through some of that. So here we go. Before you begin, you need to go to the projects page, which is here. Well, you need to sign in. It'll take you through the steps to get there. Enable billing. Then enable the API. Now this will take you through all this sort of stuff. After you've enabled the API here, um, it uh, will prompt you to do a few things. What you want to do is download a JSON file. But if I go and click on this, this basically uh, also takes you to that same page to get the account key where you can download that JSON file. Once you've got that file, you to use this from your own computer, you need to um, use that file like so in the terminal. And that basically says to Google, it's okay, I'm official and I'm linked up with my Google account. So I've already done that because it's a bit boring um, and made a folder and here's that JSON file. So if I to do this, um, what I might do is open up Atom and um, I'm just going to copy and paste this in. I'm only doing this because I just want to make my life easier. So let's copy that, put it in there, and then copy all of this. So copy. I'm using shortcuts but it's easier just to show you what I'm doing. Copy. Right, so in terminal I want to go into this folder so the easiest way to do that is just to drag that folder like so into terminal and there we go. I've got a new window and I'm in this uh, in this folder now. So if I basically paste this in hit return that's all I have to do. Um, getting that 
file takes a little while. There's plenty of documentation here for it. Um, now what I need to do is install this library. So I'm going to copy that and paste that into terminal in the folder where I'm creating my project. So I'm doing it in this folder. I'm going to hit return. It will start downloading all of this stuff. Um, now what I didn't mention is that you do need to install npm and install node first. So um, you know, just Google install node and npm and um, no, npm is node package manager and on whatever system you're on there's um, lots of documentation to do that. Um, there we go, that's all done and in here is now a bunch of node modules. So what I'll do here is create, um, well actually first of all I won't bother saving that, I'm going to open up this folder in Atom so you can see it. So here's this folder. I'm going to create a new file in there and call it index.js. And there's a nice bit of code here. I'm going to copy and paste. So copy that, paste it in there. So what this is doing, it's saying, right, first of all, we need the vision library. And then we're creating a client. Um, and then we're going to load an image. So I'm going to load my dog image. So I'm going to put dog there. And I need to create a folder for that. Um, let's make a new folder. Call it resources. And go to my desktop and put that dog image in there. So resources dog. I'm going to load this picture of the border terrier. So it uh, loads the image and then it waits for some results and um, it makes um, we're looking for labels we're going to look at the results and get the label annotations and call it this constant labels then for each of those labels it's going to do a console log so basically it'll spit out the result in the terminal or if none of that works it's going to throw an error so let's save that go into here and because I'm in the folder, all I need to run is node dot, and that will load my index.js file. Will it work? Yes, it will. So it's loaded these labels, and they should be the same as we got just here. And it looks like they are. So, um, and we could put a different image in. Let's, uh, let's just look at uh, Google Images. What's top in Google Images? Okay, so if you don't like dogs, surely you like cats. Um, save the image. So cat. Drop that cat in. Let's change this for cat. Save that and we will clear this and run it again. So node dot. And it's running. There we go. Cat. Small to medium sized cats, whiskers. Look at all that. So and again, um, that ought to be exactly the same as we got as we get in here if we, if we loaded another image. So um let's just refresh this page, we'll chuck in a different image. So let's chuck the cat in. We'll compare it. Yeah, it's all the same. So, I mean, why wouldn't it be? But that is how quick it is to use Node and leverage some of this Google Cloud magic. Um, good luck. Let me know what you think. If there's some glaring errors, I'll correct them in another video. All the best.